at it. This time in their hometown of Tampa, Florida. Frank Gifford and the freshly retired Robert Craig Evil Knievel have the call from June 4th, 1977. Welcome to Tampa, to the Boy Gifford Show, and I'm making like A.J. Boyd. Well, we got a great afternoon coming up. We're going to be watching Aerial Rocket leave the Sidewinder crash. Ken Carter jumping over those tow trucks. I wonder who that kid is. What is mother and father living on the track? Hey, probably wants me to wear that hat. Can I please have my car back? Oh, can I take one more? Yeah, I want my car back. Who are you? Joey Chitwood. Oh, you're not Joey Chitwood. Frank, this is Joey Chitwood. Hi, Joey. Hi. This is Joey Chitwood III, and this is his car. My dad made it for him. You get out of it and let him take it. <laughs> okay, Joey. Go ahead. Pretty hot ticket. Ready? We fired up for you. We got a car running in Annapolis this year with Aggie Jane. I want to have you drive it next year for us. Ready go. You ready? <laughs> Chitwood family seems to go on with time. 34 years of stunt driving, and uh, Joey Chitwood Sr. was the man who uh, kind of inspired me to get started. And here, uh, here's his uh, little grandson and. Uh, I gave him a car today that my dad built for him. It's quite a thing. A great little kid. Uh, Joey Chitwood's Auto Thrill Show. You've seen him before, but every time you see it, you see something different. Don Latre, you'll ride his motorcycle through a barrier of fire. It comes and there's the fire. It's burning. Ouch. Joe Gattuso is going to go with the rollover crash. It looks like he's driving a wreck to start with. It is over and made it. Now, that's exactly what he was trying to do. Let's watch Alex Job. Now, he is going to climb out of the car of Joey Chipwood, who is involved now in the two-wheel drive. And there's young Alex Job. He's a student at Tampa University, and he has to have a lot of faith in Joey Chipwood Jr. who's driving that car. But this is not an easy stunt to perform, Frank. Uh, he falls off of this thing uh, on the asphalt. Uh, he could get, get bit back pretty good, I'll tell you. Look at them come down the track, all three cars. They're getting close there. Oh, wow. Well, he, oh, he went hurt. down. Well, he's hurt, too. Yes, he is hurt, Frank. Well, even the Chipwoods have See down problems. there, is he all right? He's getting up. He's up. Take another look at this. He tries to get back in the car, and he just doesn't make it. And there he goes. There's a good example of a professional getting hurt. Chipwood, uh, 34 years, thousands of towns, countries. Uh, but where did it all begin? How, how did you get started? Well, Frank, uh, it started when I was driving race cars. There's a fellow named Lucky Teeter and had a thrill show. We used to play fairs together. I'd race and he'd have the thrill show. And in 1942, he got killed doing this ramp to ramp jump. And uh, his wife wanted me to dispose of equipment. And uh, I tried to sell it. Nobody would buy it. So I bought it myself and started out with it. What made you think uh, it, would, it would go like it did, though? Uh... Well, I really didn't think about that because I was driving race cars and making a good living, so I figured if I couldn't make it with that, I'd still have the racing to do, so I never, that never entered my mind, but it didn't catch a hold, and we've been playing in the same spot for 33 years now and still drawing a lot of people. Coming up now is the aerial rocket leap. Tim Chitwood is going to build up speed somewhere between 55 and 60 miles per hour. He will go off the ramp, through the barrel, and on a ramp-to-ramp jump. Very Here he dangerous. Comes. Boy, this is going to take some skillful driving to get through this thing. Oh, absolutely perfect. Tim Chitwood with the perfect aerial rocket leap. Let's take another look at it. You can see you cannot be off one foot to the left or right or you scrape the side of the simulated rocket coming through and right down on that car on all four wheels. Earlier in the day here at the Golden Gate Speedway in Tampa, Florida, the mad Canadian Ken Carter arrived at the track in typical daredevil fashion, a helicopter, and he was going to attempt a ramp-to-ramp -ramp jump for a new world's record over 12 tow trucks. And I think on this, uh, this lap right here, he gets up to speed and he'll attempt the jump. What's going through his mind right here, Abel? You've been in this situation. He wants to hit that takeoff ramp just perfectly straight, and this is going to be a tough, a tough jump. So Ken Carter's world's record attempt was a successful one. Even he hit just absolutely perfect. Yeah, he hit awful hard, Frank. I think uh, 
this particular stunt is one that he did probably better than any other car jump or truck jump that he's ever made. Boy, that thing just flies through the air. It was a beautiful jump. He gets out of that car in a hurry, doesn't he? Jim Carter, 39 years old. He suffered 12 broken bones over a career that's spanned 23 years. Today, he's a happy man. So this is Frank Gifford along with Evil Knievel saying so long from...